In this video, I'll be showing you how to transfer USDT from BitGet over to MetaMask. Now, this is a very quick and simple thing to do, so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss any important steps. Now, in order to transfer USDT from BitGet over to MetaMask, we're going to have to have both a BitGet account as well as a MetaMask wallet, so make sure you have both of those set up and ready before we get started. However, once you have got those ready, we're going to head over to BitGet and just log into our account. And once you've done that, it should look similar to what's on screen now. So from here, we can go up to the top right corner and look for this little wallet icon. And since we're trying to send over to MetaMask, we're going to choose to withdraw from BitGet. Now from here, since we're sending USDT, we're going to want to choose USDT as our coin. But if you can't find it, you can simply search for it in this box. And we want to make sure we have that selected. And from here, we can go over to our MetaMask wallet. Now when you're sending crypto, you have to make sure you are sending it via the correct network. And as you can see up here in the top left, I'm currently on the Ethereum mainnet. And if I wanted USDT in my account on the Ethereum mainnet, I'd have to make sure I've got the Ethereum mainnet selected. And from there, I can copy my address. And we can now go back over to BitGet. So from here, as I said earlier, you do want to make sure you are sending it via the correct network. And since my MetaMask account was on the Ethereum mainnet, I'm going to have to make sure to choose Ethereum as my network. So this is Ethereum, ETH ERC20, so I can select that. But if you wanted to send it via a different network, you have to make sure it matches on both BitGet and MetaMask or your funds will be lost. And once you're happy with that, we can paste in our MetaMask address. So we now want to confirm that everything's correct. And when we're happy, we can go ahead and click next. Now, if you haven't yet set up two-factor authenticator on your BitGet account, you will have to do that before you're allowed to send. So do that first. And from there, you'll be able to choose how much USDT you want to send over to MetaMask. And once you're happy and confirmed that everything's correct, you can go ahead and click send. Now, after a few minutes, you will see that appear in your MetaMask account. But the time it will take will vary depending which network you send. So if it doesn't send over instantly, don't worry, it will be in a wallet soon. So that's how you can transfer USDT from BitGet to MetaMask. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.